Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back again to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use hot corners in Windows 10 and 11 like you are doing on Mac OS. Hot corners are basically actions that are performed when you move your mouse to the four corners of the screen in Mac OS. I'm going to show you how to do that in Windows 10 and 11. But before we dive into the video, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and turning on the bell notification for more tech tips. I really appreciate your support. Now let's get started. So to use hot corners for Windows 11, you need to watch this video to the end because I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use it after the process. So to get started, we are going to download an application called hot corners for Windows. So to do that, I'm going to click on my browser. I'm going to Chrome, okay? You can use any browser of your choice. Then we are going to search for hot corners Windows 11 download. So I'm going to click on this. Then I'm going with GitHub, okay? So I'm going to click on this, Hot Corners Win, okay? So I click on that. And then I'll scroll down a bit. And then we are going with the latest release, okay? The release 15, so the 0 0.9.1, the latest. So I'm going to click on that. And then before we can use the Hot Corners for Windows, we have to first download and install .NET 9 desktop runtime, okay? So to download this application, you simply click on this .NET 9 desktop runtime and the download will be initiated, okay? So to download the hot corners as well, you have to click on the latest and then download will be initiated as well. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I've already downloaded the two files. So I'm going to straight with the installation, okay? So let me close the browser. Then I'll open the folder where I have my installation files. So I'm first going to install the .NET framework okay so I'll double click on that then I'll click on install so I'm going to click on yes to allow these apps to make changes and then the installation has started okay so we are done with the .NET installation okay so let me close this now we are going to install the hot corners for the Windows 11 so I'm going to double click on the hot corners to initiate the installation I'm going to click on next then I'll leave the default I'll click on next I'll leave the default location okay you can change the location if you want but I'm going to leave the default okay then I'll click on next then I'm going to click on next and then we are going to click on yes to allow this app to make changes and then we are done with the installation for the hot corners as well so I'm going to close the folder and to use the hot corners for Windows 11 I'll click on the search and I'm going to click on the hot corners win, okay? So when you click on it, you won't see anything happening, okay? But at the background, it's running. So let me show you something. So at the top arrow here, at the tags bar, you where you have the show hidden icons, I'm going to click on this up arrow. And then here is it, okay? It's showing disabled. So to enable it, you have to click on it once. And now it's shown or it's showing enabled. So I'm going to right click on it and then I'll click on settings okay so this is where we are going to change the settings for the hot corner so any where we move the mouse to whether top left down left top right top down right is going to perform an action okay so you see choose action and display for the hot corner so for the top left if I click on it I'm going to go with um, to lock my PC okay to lock the computer so when I move my mouse to the top left, the computer or my PC will be locked, okay? So I'm going with the bottom left. So I'll click on that. And then let's choose an action to be performed, okay? Okay, so I'm going with calculator, okay? But you can change it to what suits you. So I'm going with the top um, right. I'll click on the down arrow. Then I'm going to select an action. Open Explorer, okay? Then I'll click on the bottom right. I'm going to choose an action. Okay, um, action center. Okay, so when you are done, you click on apply. Okay, and then we are good to go. So you can close the settings. And then if I move my mouse to the bottom left, 
you see it has brought the calculator without me searching for the calculator okay so let me close the calculator if i move my mouse to the top right you see it has opened explorer okay the file explorer without me going to the folder to open it okay so let me close it if i move my mouse to the bottom right let's see what happens okay you see it has opened the action center okay so if i move my mouse to the top left let's see what happens okay it has logged my pc so i'm going to log on again and then we see what happens okay okay so you see how to add odd corners in windows 11 it's the same process for windows 10 okay so if you don't want to use the hot corners again let me show you how to disable the hot corners okay so i'm going to click on the up arrow here to show hidden icons and then i'll right click on the hot corners and then i'll click on settings okay so i'll click on the down arrow and then i'll click on none if you don't want the action to be performed again so i'll click on this down arrow um, the bottom left i'll click on none i'll click on the top right and i'll click on none and then the bottom right and I'll click on none. Okay, so this is how to disable the hot corners as well if you don't want to use it again. So when you are done with this, you click on apply. So let me close the settings. Now, if I move my mouse to the top, you see no action is being performed. If I move my mouse to the bottom left, no action is being performed. If I move my mouse to the top right, no action is being performed and the bottom right. Okay, so this is how to add or to enable and disable the hot corners in Windows 11, okay? Please, if you find value in this video, kindly support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button, liking the video, and turning on the bell notification for more tech tips. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye for now.